Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is what we're making today, and it is my blessing mix box for 2019. I make these every year, and this year um, you can put this on the back side or you can slide it into the back. So when they take their treat out, they'll have this. And again, that's free. You get nine to a page. And if you use the search box on my website, you can find all the past years. I've been making these for a really long time. Okay, so let me give you the supplies. We've got pear pizzazz, and that measures nine and a half by five and a quarter. I've got myself a cellophane bag here that's three by six. Another piece of pear pizzazz that is three by three and two inches. Pretty peacock that's three inches, three by three. And then a two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I have four pieces of the Come Together Designer Series paper and they measure two by, let's see, two and a half. And then of course I've got the, the blessing mix already printed out. Okay, so let's get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. I'm going to place it on the uh, five and a quarter side first. This is the portrait side. And I'm going to score it at three quarters. And three and a half. And then I'm going to turn it on the landscape side, which is the nine and a half inch side. And I'm going to score it at half an inch. Two and three quarters five inches and seven and a quarter. Okay, so now we're gonna fold on the score lines and then burnish it with our bone folder. There will be a free PDF over on my website that has the template for this box. Okay, so now let's start over here on this half inch side. We're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut and remove this section. And then the same thing over here. So cut and remove and then angle cut these edges, okay? Now on the rest of these, we're just gonna cut up to the score line. And we're going to do the same thing up here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to trim. This is the top of our box. And we want to give this edge just a slight trim. Okay? Not much. Just like a hair. Okay? See, like that much. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to use the Detailed Trio Punch. And this makes it a little bit easier. Okay? Now, if you have our old corner punch, uh, you don't even have to do this step. I'm doing this step because I'm using the Detailed Trio Punch. And it's a little more challenging to round those edges. Okay? So, we're going to round each one of these. So I'm going to start here and place that in there. And you want to make sure it's all the way in and then press in the middle. Okay, so there's that one. Now for this one, I'm going to fold it in, making sure that piece is folded in. And then I want to make sure it's all the way in there and then move down to the rest of the box. So you want to make sure that you always fold down the piece that extra, that top part, okay? Let's see. I get myself a little bit confused when I get to this point because it's like, okay, wait, what do I do? <laughs> uh, this way, okay. There we go. And again, you want to make sure that you have it all the way in there. If you run into any difficulty at all, trim that thing, just a tad, okay? There's that one. So we've got two more. I can tell this one right here needs a little bit of a trim. There we go. And then round it. 
Now I can't remember if I said if you have our old our old corner rounder, um, you don't have to do this step. I think I did say that. Okay, let's go from this angle. <laughs> it's a tight fit. And then now this side of it. It's because our punches are only designed to work on one piece of paper. And because of because I'm folding this piece down, it's recognizing that there's too much paper in there. So that's why it's difficult. It's because our punches are really only made for one sheet of paper. There we go. And the last one. Okay. Told you that was the most difficult. Maybe I didn't say that, but that is the hardest part of this box is getting this to work. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's go ahead and take our tear and tape and put it on this half inch strip right here. Okay, we're just gonna fold this over. Just like that okay that makes that the back of our box so that makes this the front you can also make this the front yeah and I like this edge better so I'm gonna make this one my front <laughs> okay So I'm just going to fold these in and fold this over and back, okay? I'm going to fold these back so that I can press inside there, make sure that's nice and sealed, and it is now, okay? So again, this is, wait, where's the front? This is the front of my box, so I'm going to go ahead and add my designer series paper. And so I'm just using my liquid glue. Let's see. Let's go ahead and add all the paper. I was going to just do that one to remember that's my front, but I'll be able to figure it out. So you can tell this is the side of the box because you can see that. I wanted to jazz up my Blessing Mix box this year. Um, so that's why it has the little scallop um, bottom to it. It's going to look so cute on the Thanksgiving table. I uh, did a stamp, I did a Blessing Mix box for my Stamp Club Online ladies uh, for September, no, for October. And um, I was telling them that um, some years people eat, I'm going to take three Stampin' Dimensionals on every one of these, okay, to make it hold. My studio is in the basement, and I need three for this to stay down. If you don't have a cold place where your studio is where you paper craft you might get away with two but from for my room I think right now in my um, studio it is like 64 degrees it's about 10 degrees colder um, than the third level of our house and about five degrees colder than the main oh so what I was saying I lost my train of thought is that I was telling my stamp club ladies that some years people tear open the bag and they eat the candy and then they throw away the blessing mix container and then some people leave with it and take it home with them because it's so stinking cute so you'll have to tell me um, how you do it what what do you do I'm I tend to save things <laughs> like y'all didn't already know that about me. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp. And I didn't give you the whisper white measurement um, when I was giving you the measurements because we're just using a scrap piece. Okay, so we're going to take um, Pretty Peacock 
and we're going to stamp the greeting. And this, of course, is way more than what you need. It's just what I have over here on my station. And then I'm going to take um, pear pizzazz, and I'm going to stamp one of the leaves. And then Cajun Craze, and I'm going to stamp two of those. Did I say that we were using the uh, To Every Season Punch Pack? Maybe I didn't, but that's what we are using. So this is the punch that goes with that. And I'm going to cut out both of these little leaves. Or both. I should say all three. There's not two. There's three. Ooh, I almost didn't leave myself enough room for this one. And then we're going to cut out the greeting with the one and a half inch circle punch. Okay, so now the rest of our layers are going to get cut out with some dies. Okay, so we're going to cut out the layering square with that one, and then with the pear pizzazz, this one, and then the layering circle with this one, and the um, inspiration sheet will have all the measurements for these, okay? Like I think this is a one and three quarter circle, and this is a two inch circle. Okay, so let's start with the circles. We'll do both of these at one time. So I'll place this one way down here. And then we'll do this one over here. Okay, the largest with the pear pizzazz. And just like that. Hopefully I can get this to go through at the same time. Yep. Okay, so let's get all of our pieces here. We've got this layer, this layer, and then our circles. Okay, this is going to get added to the pear pizzazz just with some liquid glue. And then our greeting is also going to get added with liquid glue. And then you're going to add it to the pretty peacock. I wonder if I called that color the wrong color earlier. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then we're going to add the first leaf, also with liquid glue, just over here on the right side. And then we're going to add the Cajun Craze one. It's almost like the leaves are following, following, falling. We have so many leaves in our yard, it is crazy. And when they first started falling, they were green because it it went from like almost fall to winter. <laughs> okay, I can see my circle. Well, it's a little down from the top. It should be a little bit further up. We won't worry about it. It'll be okay. Now, we're going to add our box to this piece here. And we're going to use liquid glue because the beauty of using the liquid glue is that we can shift this around to make sure we have it on straight. Because I told you that the detailed trio punch was the most challenging part. The second most challenging, challenging part would be lining this up um, on the square in the center of the square. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my bone folder and press just to make sure. 
Okay, Blessing Mix box, or Blessing Mix. I'm going to put that inside there just like that. And this time, I'm going to lower this just a tad. Uh, last time, I added it, well, pretty high up. I want to see what I think about it about right there. So I'm just going to take a black Stampin' Dimensional, put it down here at the bottom, and then add it about right there. And now, <laughs> don't laugh. My Blessing Mix, it is Bugles, Pretzels, Candy Corn, Orange Slices, which is the fruit, and Peanuts. This is petrified. It is from years past. I have not bought any new ingredients, and the reason is because I can't eat them. And so for me, it's like I'm going to wait until right before Thanksgiving to buy some new ingredients. Otherwise, they'll be eaten, and I won't have them to make. Okay, so the only thing you can tell is petrified is that orange. So I'm just going to add it inside the box here, just like that. And then I'm going to take, and maybe I should have just not even said anything. Y'all probably wouldn't have even noticed, right? But we can laugh together. It is kind of funny. So this is Old Olive and Pretty Peacock Ribbon. Even though we're using um, Pear Pizzazz, it it looks good yeah or I think it does what do y'all think okay. I didn't do the best of knots there but and I'll change out the uh, old blessing mix for some new stuff okay so here's my original and here's the one we just made um you know i like them both the same however you want to make it let's see how it looks if we because this one's got more food in it than the other one so let's see if we switch those out what we think about it i actually like this one better i think it's only like a quarter, it's not even a quarter of an inch difference. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day. Don't forget there's a free PDF over on my website. And if you need anything, let me know. Bye.